Hello, lovely people of the internet. This probably isn't how you expected me to look when you opened this video, but hello, this is my ensemble track costume for Les Miserables Sondheim Theatre. We are now in the new theatre. Les Mis has opened officially. We're in preview still. This is our run for Matt Lucas going back into the show. So our actual Tenardier, Jared Carey, isn't very well um, and so is not able to perform. So we have Matt Lucas rejoining the cast and this is his rehearsal at the moment. And then we've got a show this evening. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve and I'm really excited. So I thought I would film the Christmas week in a West End show because we used to work through the festive season, we get Christmas Day off but we work Christmas Eve and Boxing Day and I just thought that would be a fun thing to film and I don't think I've ever done that before in a show. I need to go because I'm in One Day More as Patrice Patrick the Potato Peeler. I'm at the back in One Day More so I'm gonna have to go but I will be back very very soon. The show has started as you can hear and this is me as Fontaine. <gasps> oh my goodness. Welcome to the Sondheim version of Fontaine. Here she is. So this is the new dressing room. I share this dressing room with Shan Akko, who plays Ladies Emily. Ladies and gentlemen, lights now, up and out one, lights now, up and out one, thank you. Lily Cahoas, who plays Cosette, and Josephina Gabrielle, who plays Madame T. The four of us are in this room together. Now this room, it's a good room. This is my little desk here, and the girls will sit along there. Um, that stairs down there to two showers and a toilet our own amazing and right so this corridor down here this is all still part of our dressing room but originally there was a wall here and that was the kids dressing room and this all of this space was unused space or i think it was used but it was like storage but in the renovation of this space this has now become the principal girls dressing room which is so cool it's so good i'm really enjoying doing the full show. I knew I would, but I've got a new ensemble track. So when I die as Fontaine, spoiler alert, but when I die as Fontaine, I then go into the ensemble. And I'm in one day more at the end of act one. I am in the beginning of act two and then in the barricades. So I do the beginning of the barricades, the first attack, drink with me, bring him home. And then when Andras says, let all the women and fathers of children go from here. I hug my barricade husband and I leave and then I come up here and get ready as Fontaine for the epilogue. Um, but when they were dishing out like responsibilities for the barricade, they were like, right, you girls over there, you guys are on uh, ammunition, you guys, you've got to take care of bandages and you know, like help the wounded, carry potatoes. Sorry, sorry what? Yeah, you're on potatoes, you've got a big basket of potatoes and you were gonna peel those potatoes throughout the barricade. <laughs> That's like really good. <laughs> I was like, why could knives be really cool and like badass? I guess I'm justifying it by being like, well, I'm feeding, I'm feeding the, the soldiers on the barricade. So that's an important job, people. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get myself in the zone, ready for at the end of the day. Here we go. Whoa, why does my tongue look super red? Was that just me then, or did my tongue look really, really red? Weird, anyway, bye. So different from this hell I'm living. So different now from what it seemed. Now life has killed the dream. I dream. Do -do 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 -do. bought so much coffee yesterday that I ended up with a free gift of syrups. Oh my god, I look like Shirley Temple! And just before anyone says anything, I have, oh my gosh, I have my recycle pod bag for Nespresso pods and I work right next to a Nespresso shop, so I take the bags back every high level. Scott and I swapped Christmas gifts last night. Scott is staying here at the moment, by the way. Um, he is in the nativity. Oh, I think I said it in my last video. He's in the... It's early. You're the first person I've spoken to. He's in the nativity at Hammersmith Apollo. And we both have shows today. We both have matinees. 
during the day, but after his matinee, he's going straight home to his family in Manchester. And I'm coming back here to finish off the last bits and pieces for going over to my brother's house tomorrow. So I've got to bake some mince pies, some millionaire shortbread, and wrap a few more presents. And then probably remember that I've forgotten 50 other things. Um, but yeah, we swapped Christmas presents and Scott very kindly got us these gorgeous gin goblets that go with the kitchen because they're like goldy brassy. Yeah, thanks Scott. He also got me a bottle of my favourite gin. I actually discovered it when I went to see Scott in Do School the Musical. I got given this yesterday at Stage Door. This is Bruce the Moose, and it was given to me by a woman called CJ at Stage Door. Um, and she gave it to me for my tacky tree. I love that. She specifically said to me when she gave me the bag, she was like, this is for your tacky tree. And I love him, and I'm thrilled, and we're going to go put it on the tree now. Okay. Bruce, mate, where are you going? I think he needs to take front and centre. I'm going to put him here. Oh, yeah. There we go. What's happening now? Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Jewish oh. and I know this one. Hark the herald angels sing. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Two glasses where it's trying to read oh. the tiniest writing on earth. Like that. Mm -hmm. feels slightly like the last day of school where there's lots of festivities going on the swings are having a Christmas party in their room because um two of the swings one of the swings a couple of the swings aren't on in the show today because no one's off sick and no one's on holiday because it's Christmas Eve uh, so they're having a little party upstairs we've had people come around and like deliver these are from Cameron Macintosh from his offices so thank you very much to Cameron Macintosh for those um, our dresser bought us a cake and a bottle of champagne. Uh, it just, yeah, it's just, it feels like last day of school. We're going to be back on Boxing Day, so it's not like we're going away for like a big Christmas break. Also, Josephina, when I bought these Conditor and Cook mince pies, they were voted the best mince pies in London, Britain, the UK, I'm not entirely sure, but they're really, really bloody good. So that is my post-mortem treat. I need to go downstairs, so bye. Merry Christmas, Shan! Hi! Yeah! Merry Christmas, guys! Love, love you, Carrie. Love you, Shan. This is for you, Chris Jacobson. Ready? See you all in hell! See you all in hell! See you all, see you all, see you all in hell! Little ox of jump. There? Little ox of jump. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go down. See you in a sec. Pressing record. Off I go. Damn it. Carrie, you're gonna see this when you're editing. Just sending you love, powering on through. We love you, I love you, and Shan, Shan just wants to say how amazing you are, and that you're just a light, and continue to shine your light. We're gonna go on stage now, we be like... Day. It's almost 11 o'clock. I've been up for a few hours getting stuff 
ready to take over to my brother's house. I'm just waiting for my parents to arrive because it's, it's a lot of stuff that I need to take over that I can't carry by myself. It requires a dad to help and a car. So I'm just waiting for them to come over and pick me up and then let the festivities begin. I think I had some bread in my teeth for that last take. I'm very, very sorry. I apologize for that. I will say this is the first Christmas I've woken up in my own house. Obviously I had that at the flat. Although saying that, I don't think I ever woke up at the flat. I think I always stayed at my brother's house. But because I had a show yesterday and I had so much left to do here, I stayed here and so woke up on Christmas morning in my own house, which sounds lonely, but it was, I had a lovely time. Saying that though, I watched a Netflix series, a very non-Christmas, non-festive Netflix series called Don't F*** With Cats. And for anyone who liked making a murderer or likes documentaries about criminals and serial killers and thrillers like I do, it's unreal. It's, it's so good. It's fascinating and horrifying. Don't watch it if you're faint of heart or don't enjoy that kind of thing because you just will not like it but it's terrifying and fascinating in equal measure but then i had a dream uh that i got stabbed so not my best night's sleep before christmas day but i did also watch the santa claus and the holiday and i also made my millionaire shortbread for those of you that don't know i'm sure i've mentioned it before but my brother likes this millionaire shortbread that I baked on a whim at once and he became so attached to it and I think I baked it for Christmas day maybe like six years ago but it's become sort of a thing now he and his wife Joanna insist that I make it every Christmas and uh, Joanna always jokes that I'm not allowed Christmas dinner until I have presented the millionaire shortbread <laughs> so made a big box of that and I'm also feeling very festive in my nice red dress today but with very unfestive earrings that have skulls on them. It's all about balance. It's all about balance. <laughs> I feel like I'm perpetually at this bus stop. I've got to admit, the festive season always does feel a little bit lonely. Um, I, know a, I know the majority of people work through Christmas, but relative to my family, I'm the only one in my family who has like working hours that I have to keep during the festive season. You know, like, oh, sorry guys, Christmas day, but I've got to get an early night because I've got a show tomorrow. Or, sorry guys, I can't come for a walk with you on Boxing Day, or I can't do this or that on Boxing Day because I've got a show. What about Christmas Eve? Oh, no, sorry, I've got a matinee. <laughs> so yeah, I always kind of feel like I'm missing out a little bit on family stuff around Christmas time. But I'm very lucky that I have an amazing job that I really, really love. So it never feels like, oh God, I've got to go to work. It's sort of like I'm bummed for a little bit because I'm missing family stuff, but then I get to work and get all of the fun theatre stuff as well. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. And to be fair, I had Christmas off last year, so. We are in the second show of the day after Boxing Day. It is the 27th of December and uh, I've been home alone for the last few nights because Scott went home to see his family, Ollie went home to see his family for Christmas. But Scott comes back tonight and Ollie comes back tomorrow. So it's gonna be nice to have some human interaction within the house. <laughs> i tell you what, I was gifted this by Zoe Sugg from the Zoella Boots range, I think. And I've gotta tell you, it's great. Yearly goal thing, make it happen, monthly goals. It's got really shiny stickers. I'm such a sucker for things that make me feel like I'm being organized and getting my together. But really I'm sort of just procrastinating more by doing stuff like this. I've definitely just called myself out, but it's really great. I'm really enjoying it. I'm not sponsored, I haven't been asked to say anything. It was gifted along with a bunch of other stuff from the same range, but I just think it's great, so I thought I'd mention it. So tomorrow is Lame's Secret Santa. My Secret Santa is, drum roll please. Bradley plays Javert, and he always comes in and steals my essential oils for his little diffuser, so I got him orange and peppermint 
diffuser oils and also he's growing his beard for Javert. So, and it's so weird. I bought this this morning and then he had a conversation about how he doesn't have any. I got him some beard oil from uh, Johnny's Chop Shop Barbers and he likes Fisherman Friends throat sweets. So I'm gonna go and get some of them tomorrow. I've nailed it, I've nailed it. Are you gonna announce? Yeah, so if you go through this one, Yeah? Okay. Okay. Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Santa, where are you? Santa! Right. Without further ado, yes. here's our lovely, lovely Santa, Jason Mumford! Watching Kiwai again. Oh, that's, that's from everyone. Oh, oh. 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 Thank you very much, my love. I'll give you a snort a bit. My secret Santa got me this. It's all bubble wrapped, but it says, "If you can dream it, you can do it." Quote from Walt Disney in a frame. And, and this beautiful Kate Spade notebook with a big C on it. I absolutely love it. My secret Santa nailed it and I know who it was. It was Matt Dempsey who plays Bambi, whom I adore. He is marvelous. Oh. 